Welcome to the Up and Up podcast, where you have unlimited potential and resources. Today, I have with me Christy Tate. Christy, tell me who you're representing today. I am with the Suicide Prevention Coalition of Howard County. Um, We've been in existence for about two, two and a half years. It was a COVID start. So, you know, we really didn't get going until after COVID ended. I can totally understand that. (laughs) But what a needed item because um, we have seen suicides rise. Oh, most definitely. In our county. Yeah. And it's it's scary. um, The after effects of COVID itself has been devastating, not only on teens, but also on the adults. I mean, just the isolation. I mean, I am such a people person to begin with. And then you put me in a house by my, I live alone. You put me in a house by myself and I'm about to go crazy. And it was like, oh, this is not doing well for my mental health. Amen. So, and oh I gosh. tell you, I don't know how many people, uh, even single moms that oh, were yeah. trying to get their kids through yeah. school. It was, it was yeah. devastating. Like it lock was. yourself in the bedroom and go, I got to call somebody for help. So oh, I took yeah. a lot of those calls. I can only imagine. Um, and so, you know, the reason I'm so happy that you're here today mm-hmm. is, um, because obviously there's a personal story behind why yes. you're doing what you're doing. I, there is. I am a suicide survivor myself. <laughs> I um, had mental health issues from my teenage years on. So um, as soon as I had a friend who lost family due to suicide and she was like, hey, would you be interested in this? And I had never even shared my story with her. <sighs> like, I mean, my parents didn't know it was something that was 100% personal to me, but she knew that I was a mental health advocate. And um, cause I had been in a really bad car accident and had some traumatic brain injuries and it was a whole long story, but I had to start therapy because of that to kind of get myself back to normal. Sure. And through that process realized like, Hey, I, there's a lot of stuff that I'm internalizing that I really need to, mm. um, yes. get out there. And I'm sure, you know, it made me realize I'm not the only person going through this. You know, I'm not the only, Mm-mm. always been big and I was bullied throughout my teenage years. And that led to some of what my mental health issues became. And I, through joining the coalition, have been able to share my story, mm-hmm. which has been totally freeing for me. And just the fact that we had our first um, walk of hope last year. Yes. And which was an amazing event. And I was able to share my story, but we actually had a mother come up to us afterwards who was actually working the event for the city and said, my daughter has been going through a deep depression and I didn't know about it, but everything that you said resonated with me. Oh my and so Lord. she went up oh. to her daughter oh. after the fact and said, are you okay? And was able to have a really honest conversation with her daughter about what she was going through with suicidal ideations. And just hearing that, of course, I, you know, lost it. It was like, exactly what I needed to hear to know like, hey, you're not alone, Mm -hmm. which is I think the number one, if we can get any message out there, it's that you are not alone. No. And just even as somebody who is in a much better mental health space now, I mean, I was able to see like, oh my gosh, like if I can that one life, like that is worth surviving for. Mm -hmm. It's changing one life. So well and I think about how talented you are. I think about all the different things that you've supported over the years. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've worked with you numerous times on different events and different Mm -hmm. things. And I've always seen you as bubbly and outgoing and so fun loving. Mm -hmm. And I am, but it's like, you just have no idea what happens you know, kind of behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you think back to, you know, people like Robin Williams and people Mm. like that, that you hear, you know, took their own lives and you're like, how can that be? And it's usually those people that you have no idea that they're battling. Yes. And it just becomes, you know, like one dark day can change the course of your life. And luckily I was able to kind of self-talk myself out of it. But I mean, I had a plan and I had a will drawn up and like just things and just telling my, Mm. the people that I loved, like, Hey, you didn't know this, but this is where I was, was so hard. Oh. My parents didn't know. And mm-hmm. I have the best parents in the world. You do. You do. I, yeah, I do. I must say. Uh, yes. And they, they're amazing. I've been mentored by your mom. Yes. I know. Yes. I just, and they just to see the concern on their faces, mm-hmm. thinking of like what I would have put them through if I had gone yeah. through with my plans was just like, 
it was so hard, mm-hmm. but again, it was so freeing for me because I was able to get that part of my life just to have like the sunlight shine on that part of my life was really freeing. So it it really, and everyone that's involved in the coalition has a story like that. They've lost somebody or Mm -hmm. they Mm -hmm. um, are a survivor or they've seen the effects. Wow. I mean, like 136 people are affected by every one suicide. Like that is, that's a ton of people. That's a ton of people and the community is affected and it's just, but there's so much hope there too of like, you know, just after the fact of like, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, I like to, I have a semicolon tattoo and I like, love that because my life could have been a period and it became a semicolon instead. I love that so. because there's a new chapter yes, and the chapter exactly. is open and yeah. it's, Oh, I've it's, done so much since then. I went to grad school and I have, I, get to work in my happy place at the library (laughs) and I have a niece and a nephew I would have never met. And I just, you know, my life is so full now. And I I can honestly say, you know, I knew you when this group started, Mm -hmm. um, out of, you know, some things that were going on at turning point. Mm -hmm. And I can honestly say that I see you even more jovial today, more outgoing and flowing Mm -hmm. and freer than I've ever seen you before. So it's almost like every time you tell your story you get stronger it is because again there's that again there's that hope there that kind of shines through and this really i mean suicide is awful it's something Mm -hmm. that there should not be a stigma around it Mm -mm. mental health should not have a stigma no no and i think just again like you said every time i get to share my story like it shines a little bit more sunshine on the darkest days of my life and i think that that is always worth saying. Always oh, worth absolutely. About. And I was going to say that, you know, uh, that saying mm-hmm. it's okay to not be okay. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Um, and like this morning, you know, I had a few moments this morning, I'm taking care of my dad with dementia. Oh, that's it so, just, I've been there. Done it's that. it's yeah. a challenge. It's and hard. you know, I reached out to my tribe, mm-hmm. you know, yep. I reached yep. out to somebody on the way here yep. to talk on the phone for just a few minutes. Oh my gosh. That makes to such just a breathe life into my situation yep. so yep. that I can persevere and move on. Yep. You know, yep. I think that's the whole key. And yep. so with, yep recovery is not linear. I mean, however Ooh, you need to recover that's deep, it is. And we had, we had somebody say that and I was like, Oh, I'm, I'm going to steal that. 100%. <laughs> yes, I'm taking yes. that from you. And it's now kind of like our tagline for yeah. the year because it's yeah. not, I mean, if you need to take one step forward and two steps back and then two steps forward and however you need to do it, you heal like you need to heal. Yeah. Life it's your is, chapter. Life is hard. You heal when you heal, yes. how you need to yeah. heal. Life is what so is your, hard. What is your self-care that's exactly. going to get you rejuvenated? In your yep. case, it's being out there and shedding the light on it. Yep. And I love that fact. So with the suicide prevention, yes. what is it? How do we get a hold of you? Yeah. Where do where are you guys at? What's yeah. going on? We have really been trying to focus on getting out into the community because if we we can break the stigma around talking about suicidality, yeah. mm-hmm. talking about mental health. Like I think that's going to be huge. And luckily we're seeing this younger generation yes. not having the holdups that like our older generation, even my generation does. Yeah. It's like it yeah. was not talked about. I have a friend who is a um, part of the coalition. Her name's Rachel and she is a um, counselor at a school. Yes. And just the number of people, like children, elementary school children that she's had to do like a suicide referral on. It's jarring to me. Oh, Because I didn't. Again, my, my, my. I, I just it, it, it's jarring, but they don't have a problem talking about it. So I think that long term, that's going to lead to some really fruitful things. Yes. But it's it's getting through to the people that had the stigma of talking about it, like in their 20s and 30s up. So um, we are as active as we can be on social media because yep. we know that's where people are. You're now. on Facebook. We are on Facebook. We've got Instagram. We're talking about starting a TikTok, but we're figuring that out. Um, <laughs> we all have to somehow. Yeah, exactly. Like I love TikTok, but it's like, mm, where do you go? A little scary. This? I'm yeah, not going to yeah. lie. But <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, you can look us up at Suicide Prevention Coalition of Howard County. We're going to be at the Howard County Fair next Good. week. Good. That's excellent. Um, and we also have our second annual Walk of Hope this year. Yeah, I know. 
it's going to be on Saturday, September 16th. I almost said the wrong date. That's okay. <laughs> um, Saturday, September 16th at Foster Park, and it is open to whoever wants to come. That's awesome. Um, we are going to have local organizations come there with some resources of their own, mm-hmm. um, because again, we are huge advocates of therapy. So we're going to have some therapists there, some other mental health providers. Um, there's like a local suicide um resource group that's um like a support group that just started called Ooh, alternatives to yes suicide. i've seen that and they that is amazing. being held at the library at the library okay um twice a month okay and it is a um done by carissa vandeventer who's yes. amazing yes um she is one of the facilitators and you can come and just talk and you are not going to have to worry you don't have to give your name you don't have to give anything you can just come and be with other people who have been through it safe space safe space so they're going to be there there. And then we are going to, we always like to talk about the survivors and the mm-hmm. people that have been lost to it. So we have a memorial time. And then we just do a walk to show people, hey, there's hope. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. That's why we wanted to say, yes, it's the walk of hope. There's That's hope awesome. out there. There's, you know, your life can be a semicolon and not a period. That's There's right. All that out there. And we want to do this for as many years as we can possibly can and save as many lives as we can. I think that's the goal right there is, is save saving the lives. lives. Yep. And so we've yep. got to get to those who need us. Yes. Which is and so, so hard getting to do. this word out is yes. really important. But you're right. I think from my parents mm-hmm. and their parents yep. on down, we were told that. You know, you're weak if you go to therapy. Yep. Yep. And that is yep. not really that is the not, truth. Oh, That's it that has stigma been challenge that we have to overcome. Me. My therapist is my, like, there are things that I save for him. And I'm taking the <laughs> list and I'm like, these are the things we need to talk about. And he's just like, okay, okay, uh, yeah, great. Like, yeah. he's just, let's open them up. He just laughs and says, let's go down your list and see yeah. what we can talk about. And I'm like, okay, John, great. Like, yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. So. I think you've got to find the right person at yes. the right spot. Yes. And I I just want to speak to that for a minute mm-hmm. because I've 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 hit some roads yeah. in my own life and yes. my own family with children and therapy yes. yes and that it is a broken system it is a hundred and getting into therapy is very challenging it's very challenging I had to wait a couple months and I yeah. was going through a traumatic brain injury and I'm like if I can't get in for this could you yeah. imagine for somebody who's calling just out of the blue I had a mm-hmm. referral from a and doctor. we wait too late yes don't we yes. We, we wait too long Mm -hmm. to think that we can overcome it ourselves. I can tough it out. I can push through this. And sometimes you just, you can't. And talking to somebody who doesn't know your background, who you can just literally talk to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are things I've told my therapist that I don't think I've ever externalized because I didn't think about it that way. He asked a very specific question and I'm just like, uh oh yeah okay like it was a light whole different lens off. on yes. what you're thinking versus Somebody what you thought no is... preconceived notions there you, you go and therapy doesn't have to be long term i mean i've done it twice i did it after i took care of my grandmother with dementia uh-huh. and after she passed i was grieving and w- did about six months and that's what i needed at the time Good. and i've been doing it this time for since my car accident and i'm like yeah i'm gonna keep doing this yeah. like i've got i've got some things to unpack i'm mm-hmm. i'm in my mid 40s and I've got some things to unpack and it's been yeah it's been great reach out to their Facebook page oh a hundred percent if you are struggling and can't get in somewhere yes, they yes. have some tools yeah that I, they would love to oh, share the resource the suicide prevention hotline 988 is the new mm-hmm. one um we have somebody on the coalition who says he'll call and just talk to somebody if he can't get into his therapist mm-hmm. he'll call and talk to whoever's answering the 988 number because they're all trained to go through this and he goes it's 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 helped me that's and, awesome i mean just that's the fact so that good. you can do that like mm-hmm. 988 just dial 988 and talk if you need to and that great that's yeah. good good yeah. advice so what is in store for the future we are really wanting to meet the needs of the community so we are growing our organization Mm -hmm. we're always looking for people who are passionate about um about the cause we can educate you on our Mm -hmm. um on our resources on um we're offering uh classes called qpr now which is question persuade and refer so it's basically cpr for mental health i love that it is so like even us coalition members who have had probably more training than the average person have 
have went out of that training and was like, oh, oh my gosh, like this is perfect. And you can literally like, it just starts with the question, are you okay? And it goes from there and you're able to help somebody. And that means sitting next to them as they call the 988 number, mm -hmm. um, getting that promise of, hey, are you going to do anything tonight? And having them say no, like, you know that you've gotten them through one more night. Yeah. Like, it's just those small things that you can do. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to roll that out community-wide. I love that. We want yes. sports coaches and teachers mm -hmm. and church leaders. We want everyone to take it because this, um, a lot of the references and a lot of the data shows that the more people that can be trained in how to help save a life again it cuts down on those suicidality rights because yeah. you know how to be there for somebody in that moment. absolutely and i've yeah. had people tell me that you know oh she claimed that she was gonna you know mm -hmm. do suicide do tonight yeah. da -da -da -da. she just wants attention I got to say, no. no, that's not the if case. They, say they, they are, are crying yeah. out for help. Yeah. You, at that point, need to nurture that conversation. Exactly. And help them to understand and maybe even lead them towards it. There is no harm in talking about it. No, there isn't. And, and we've been led to believe that lie. Yes, we and that's, been. again, another stigma that it we is. have to overcome. But we but need to understand. If says they're going to mm -hmm. do it, that means even that... On any level, even if they are doing it for attention, they've thought about it. And just that thought increases the chances of them going through it yeah. threefold. Yeah. I mean, it's just, and you never know, like, I just keep thinking like how I would feel if I ignored somebody who said they were going to do it and then they did it. Mm -hmm. Like that would be so devastating. And okay, if they need attention give them the attention they need. That's There's right. nothing wrong with Everybody that. deserves that attention and some it's, more it's than kindness. others because they're not getting it. Yes. So be kind out there yes. today. Yeah. Hey, I want to thank you, Christy, no for joining no us problem. at the Up and Up show. I was going to say this is a resource. Um, mm -hmm. It is Suicide Prevention Coalition on Facebook. You yes. can reach out to them anytime. Message them. You are not alone. You are not alone. People, Thank you for there. joining the Up and Up show, Thank and we'll continue me. after this announcement. The episode is funded by the Community Foundation of Howard County. Special thanks to the Hunt Family Fund, which was used to fund this grant. And now back to the Up and Up podcast. Welcome back to the Up and Up podcast, where we interview one of our Up crew members. And today, tell us all about yourself. Well, my name is Dream. <laughs> my name is Dream. I'm 14 years old, and I've been in the up, up program for about three months, not too long. That's awesome. That what is. do you think about the program? It's pretty cool. You make friends, you make money. Main thing for me at the moment. Um, and it's pretty fun. Good. Have you made any friends? Lots of friends. And a lot of people there I already know, so pretty easy. That's great. That's awesome. Um, when we say the word mentor, and that's kind of what Kareen, I, Deanna, Tina, and Ken are, um, what kind of uh, relationship do you feel like that is for you as one of the UP crew members? Well, I have different relationships with everybody. So for Ken, it's like he's like a, um, he's like, like a, a very, very good friend. Mm -hmm. Somebody that um, would take care of me. Same as everybody else is there. But like, you know what I'm saying? There's just different levels of relationship sure, I have. Sure, there is. Everybody. Yeah, that's awesome. And what kind of relationship do you have with Kareem? Kareem, he like, he like, he like, uh, he like the, he like the cool uncle, you know? He that's like, he, he's like the one that'd be like, uh, oh, let's go outside and play basketball. I'm going a, I'm to a beat you in basketball. This and this and that, this and this and that. So I talk all that stuff. I beat in basketball though. That's amazing. And you know what? I heard you're a part of the Beard family. Yeah. And so your church is City of Refuge Church, right? Yes, it is. And one of my besties is Erlanda. And we just found out that that's your aunt. Yes, it is. And she's like my soul sister. Like, you know, <laughs> our spiritual sisters is what we do because yeah. we, we, you know, we love to pray. So that's pretty cool. That I, I thought, man, we're kind of like related. Yeah. <laughs> And so what has this program in, I know, less than three months here, what have you learned that you're going to take away into your adulthood? How to manage my money and how to save my money. 
instead Ooh. of just splurging as soon as I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it is powerful, yes. and we do give incentive for that, don't we? Yeah. So, are you trying to get some of that incentive money? Yes. <laughs> Well, what is it that you feel like you've learned with the work that you're doing outside and with groups of people? How has that affected you? Pretty good. I mean, what I've learned, well, I've learned how to mulch. I've learned <laughs> how to put down rocks. Um, <laughs> I mean, these are pretty simple jobs, but we get paid for it, so. Yeah, so it's pretty cool that tis way. Tis what it is. What advice would you give? Now, I just heard that you have your own YouTube channel. Yes, I do. And so what do you do on that YouTube channel? Well, what I basically do, I just play games, any type of games, pretty much. Um, it's a small YouTube channel at the moment, so it's pretty much whatever I do. It's so I do. are you trying to show people how to get through levels of a game? No, I'm just gameplay, basically. Okay. About, like um, Roblox or Minecraft, stuff like that. Oh, super nice. I love it. So with this program, um, what uh, what grade are you in currently? I am going into or in? Going into. Eighth. I Eighth got grade. held back a year. So. Okay, no problem. But um, with that, have you, do you do Excel well in school? Yeah, I ended the school year with A's and B's. That's awesome. I want to commend you for that. Thank you. Not everybody can do that. And managing work and your school year is kind of a challenge, isn't it? Yeah. But you've learned how to kind of make that work. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. What does the store mean to you? When we open the store and allow you to go in, spend points, uh, what does that mean to you? Immediate thought. Candy, chips, drink, ice cream, it, nothing else to it. Period. Because you're trying to save. Yes. <laughs> he wants us to pay big money is what he wants us to do. And that's okay. They're, that's what the program's all about. Mm -hmm. So what advice would you give other families or um, any other youth out there that would want to come in the program? Uh, what would you advertise? What would you say to the public? You can make money. <laughs> This kid is all about the money. Dream is about the money. That I am. So speaking of your name, Dream. Yes. Do you dream a lot? Yes. Okay. Uh, actually, story. When I was in, like 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 five, no, 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 I was like eight or nine. We were living in a trailer park in Galveston. I had the weirdest nightmare ever. I was sleeping on the couch. I have to get through playing my game. I'll just sleep. <laughs> and then I remember so vividly. It was it was zombies. <laughs> dolphins and zombie dolphins trying to come <laughs> and eat me. And then I just like, eventually when they got on me, I woke up, I just flew up like a rocket. I was like, what just happened? Wow. I did, st I stayed up for like the rest of the night. Okay. All right. Well, we got Dream and he's been dreaming about zombie dolphins. Um, and tigers. My most recent Oh, and tigers one. and lions and bears. Oh my. My most recent nightmare, I got mowed down by a tiger. Okay, well, we need to be dreaming about good things, you know, positive things, like your future and how bright it's going to be. We're going to need shades, right? Please got shades. Oh, that's how bright your future is right there. I feel it. I feel in the vibe today. Well, I want to thank you, Dream, for coming on the show and showing us what it's all about, because it's about the bottom line, right? The points. That it is. And go doing the work. So thank you for joining the Up and Up podcast today.